And now, I should like to sing you a new song that I only wrote a few weeks ago, and it was inspired by the dangerous and difficult years through which we are all living. And I do hope that the strong moral tone of it will not unduly oppress you. Life today is hectic, our world is running away. Only the wise can recognize the process of decay, and happily all our dialectic is quite unable to say whether we'll ride supreme or not, whether we're on the beam or not, whether this new regime or not is leading us astray. We all have frigid airs, radios, television and movie shows to shield us from the ultimate abyss. We have our daily bread neatly cut, every modern convenience, but the problem that confronts us all is this. What's going to happen to the children when there aren't any more grown-ups? <laughs> Having been injected with some rather unpleasant glands, darling mummy's platinum and dances to all the rumba bands. The songs that she sings at twilight would certainly be the highlight for some of those clacks that Elsa Maxwell tours around in yachts. So rock a bye, rock a bye, rock a bye, my darlings. A mother requires a few more shots. But does it amuse the tiny mites to see their parents high as kites? What's, what's, what's going to happen to the tots? Life today's neurotic, a fruitless battle we wage. Millions are spent to circumvent the march of middle age. The fact that we grab each new narcotic can only prove in the end whether our hormones gel or not. Whether our cells rebel or not, whether we're blown to hell or not, we'll all be round the bend from taking Benzedrine, Dexamil, every possible sleeping pill to knock us out or knock us into shape. We all have shots for this, shots for that, shots for keeping us thin or fat. But there's one problem that we can't escape. So oh, what's going to happen to the children when there aren't any more grown-ups? Thanks to plastic surgery and uncle's abrupt demise, dear Aunt Rose has changed her nose but doesn't appear to realize that pleasures that once were heaven look silly at 67. And youthful allure you can't procure in terms of perms and pots. A lullaby, 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 my darlings. Try not to scratch those large red spots. Think of the shock when mummy's face is lifted from its proper place. What's, what's, what's going to happen to the tots? What's going to happen to the children when there aren't any more grown-ups? Well, when grandmama, without getting out of breath, starts to jive at 85 and frightens the little ones to death, the police had to send a squad car when daddy got fried on vodka and tied a tweed coat round mummy's throat in several sailor's knots. hush by hush by hush by my darling. Try not to fret and wet to your cots. One day you'll clench your tiny fists and murder your psychiatrist. <laughs> what's, what's, what's going to happen? To the top. <laughs>